Hello Internet, welcome back to Masters of Brick Jitsu. Today we're going to be talking about aging, why it happens, and why it doesn't. Something that's went unexplained in Ninjago's 13 years on the air is the inconsistencies of Garbodon and Wu's ages. We're to believe that thousands of years ago they look like this, then a little over 40 years ago they look like this. In the recent present, they look like this. As sons of the first Spinjitsu master, it's believed that they age slower than normal humans and as such maintain their youth longer. All that makes sense, right? Well, there's one piece of media that throws a wrench in here. In the short battle between brothers, we see the moment that Garmadon is cast into the underworld. Both he and Wu are young, but here's where it gets complicated. We know that this short takes place just a few years before the pilots because it has to. In Season 1, we're introduced to Lloyd Garmadon, son of Lord Garmadon. He's just a kid. Given the fact that Garmadon would have to be present to conceive a child with Misako, it stands to reason that Lloyd was at least conceived shortly before the events of Battle Between Brothers. After the short, Wu hides the weapons of Spinjitsu and gives a map to their location to Rei. Rei and Maya are then kidnapped by Crux, abandoning Kai and Nia. Just noting this because someone will bring it up in the comments. It's not a plot hole. Crux played the long game and waited until he was sure that the two had passed on their elemental powers to their children so he could capture them easier. But back to my point. How does Wu and Garmadon age so quickly between the events of Battle Between Brothers and the pilots? I'd like to propose a theory. I think Wu and Garmadon's ages are linked. When the two are in the same realm, they age slowly. Once they're separated, time begins to catch up to them. Both he and Wu become more involved in the action in Seasons 3 and 4 and are more agile, almost as if being together makes them stronger. But that'd be silly, right? Wrong. What is the first thing that Wu does after Garmadon is banished to the Cursed Realm? Retire. He gets subtly weaker as Season 6 and 7 occur, taking a backseat to the action again. Garmadon is gone. In Season 8, Wu re-emerges as a baby and remains that way throughout the season. Season 9, Wu is stuck in the First Realm with the rest of the ninja, and notice he ages significantly faster while separated from Garmadon. You could argue this is because of the effects of the time blade are wearing off, but notice he doesn't age any faster once they return to Ninjago. He still returns to his old age, but that's his default. Time continues to pass, but with the two back in the same realm, Wu gets notably more involved in ninja adventures, Master the Mountains, Seabound, and Crystallized especially. And that's all the information I have right now. I don't want to touch Dragons Rising yet, as it may be doing something different that we can't comprehend right now, and in conclusion, I feel that Garmadon and Wu have always represented the yin and yang, the Oni and Dragon. They're just as much part of the balance as the balance itself. You can't have one without the other. Perhaps if one disappears, they'll both slowly meet their end. But hey, that's just a theory. A Ninjago theory. Thanks for watching.